Hello, thank you for watching He Said, She Said, Food for Thought. I'm here actually today with my son Dylan and we decided that we would make some appetizers. One of my favorites happens to be a Mexican inspired pinwheel. You'll see the ingredients here. I'm actually going to use a bit of nacho and taco blend shredded cheese, sharp cheddar, a little bit, I'm using a little bit of a hotter uh, salsa. I've got a can of green chilies, also very smallly diced black olives. I've got uh, some cilantro, cumin, garlic powder, and a little bit of cayenne. Um, I'm going to use some green onions. I might, if I feel like it, add a little bit of red onion. And chicken. Now this has been rinsed and trimmed. I tried to get as much of the fat off. Uh, you want to be careful with poultry that you're always making sure that your surface is clean. I'm going to go ahead and add this to a pot and I'm actually going to boil it to shred the chicken by using chicken broth. And this is also cream cheese which we'll add here at the end and we'll show you how that comes together. Okay so as you can see I have the temperature on high. I've got just one chicken breast because that's all I really need for this recipe. I've covered it just enough to go over the top of the chicken and we'll go ahead and get this boiled and shredded. Okay, so we're back here. You can see that I shredded this chicken. It's not uh, finely shredded. You could also use canned chicken, but I like to go with the fresh if I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our cream cheese mixture here. I'm going to go ahead and season it a little bit with some cayenne pepper, not too much. And again, you can always omit if you don't like something. I like mine a little spicier. Garlic powder. You can use fresh cilantro. I didn't find any at the market, so I'm just going to use some dried, a dried version. A little bit of cumin. And now it's just a matter of mixing it together. So I'm going to add the chicken. I've already drained the, the green chilies. I've also drained black, chopped black olives. Again, you can leave that out if you don't want it. I'm going to put this all together and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've got the green chilies and I also have the black olives. I'm going to add, I'm eyeing it here guys, I'm going to use, I'm saying three tablespoons of some salsa. Um, again, use a milder uh, version if you prefer or you can omit it. That's what's nice again. You can add whatever you like to this and the layers of flavor really come through. All right, so now I'm starting to assemble these. I added about a cup of a nacho blend cheese to its shredded cheese to the cream cheese mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and layer it with my chicken now, making sure that I cover it as closely as I can to the edge of the tortilla. And then after this part, I'm going to add the rest of my green chilies, I left a little bit on the side. I don't have very much left. I'm going to add some of the olives. And again, you don't have to add those if you don't like it. Finally, let's not forget green onion. I've also done this recipe with red onion. It works great too. You could also add some bell pepper, like red bell pepper. I'm going to add a little bit more cheese to the top. And as you can see over here, this one's already been prepared for you. And that's how it's going to look before I roll it. All right, this is the fun part. Now, push this filling down a little bit. Make sure you don't add too much to the center of it. Um, otherwise, your tortilla is going to break. You want to try and roll this as tightly as you can without breaking it. I'm very guilty of overfilling things, so I have learned that the hard way. And then you can tuck this in here. Go ahead and wrap it seam side down with a little bit of the saran wrap and we'll put them in the fridge to cool for a couple hours in this occasion because we're gonna eat them today, but you can leave them in there overnight if you like. And there you have it, Mexican pinwheels from scratch. These are very popular. I know you'll enjoy them. You can always add black beans or corn if you like. I like them just as is. Hope you enjoy, thanks for watching. He said, she said, food for thought.